Welcome home, Jin. Hey, Akos. I hear the Aegis awakened. Nasty shock for you? Or was it? Of course, my script showed how everything would play out from the start. Sure, you say that once it's all over and done with. It's easy to act smug when hindsight's on your side. Shut your mouth, Abrona. I'm shaking to my core. Where are the other two? Mikhail's inspecting the Ardanian factory. And my beloved sister is out hunting, as always. I'm sure she'll have found plenty of drivers to chew up and spit out by now. She likes to hunt, all right. Not sure we can use all of those core crystals, though. Do we know where the Aegis is right now? Have no fear, Jin. Of course we know her whereabouts. Abrona? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It seems they're currently traveling away from the urban area of Gormont. Leaving the town? But there's nothing out that way. Perhaps they're on their way out of Gormod itself. Oh, and... What? It seems a certain shipment has set out. The core crystals heading to Indol for cleansing, huh? How pious of them. Shall we handle them? I can deal with that myself. You concentrate on the Aegis. Understood. Well... I am looking forward to clapping eyes on the Aegis. By the way, what of Nia? You know where she is? Yes. Look, this dot here. Without a doubt, this is Dromark's wavelength. It seems they're traveling together with the Aegis. With the Aegis? Huh. Do as you see fit. Understood. You don't need to ask me twice. Right then. We're gonna take the Monoceros. As you wish. Hey. Don't do anything too reckless. What is that? A Cloud Sea compass. A must-have for salvagers. It's sort of a map of the Cloud Sea. If you do this, and this... What's the date today? Um... A Mathotober 5th, 4058. Okay. So now we put the date in. See? Oh, this is very clever. Looks like Gormot. Is the closest country to the World Tree right now? All we need is a ship. The army has every ship in town in its grip. <sighs> We're kind of stuck. Seems that way. Sorry, I'm no use now. I know, I know. But I'm all out of ideas. Rex Rex needs ship? <gasps> Tora, I have good idea! You do? There is shipbuilder living at Gormot Titan's Bum Bum. Old friend of Tora's Grampy Pon, he called Umon. Maybe he help if we tell him what's what. Sure, it's worth a shot. Let's get going. Hello? Umon! Umon! Where is Umon? Who is that? Who is noisy while I do my work? Tora! This big surprise! Long time no see, Uncle Pon. Yes, long time. About one whole year? Yes, about that. You became very big in one year, Tora. Yes, Tora not little pawn anymore. And Tora have lots of sidekicks. Rex Rex and friends are not Tora's sidekicks. They are real friends, Umon. 
Rex Rex, meet Uncle Pon Umon. He did great research with Grampy Pon. He is great builder of ships. Hello. Greetings. At your service. I see. Tora's friends. Tora has lots of friends. Very good. Tora has become fine, Biggie Pon. <laughs> Well, Tora, did you need Uman's help for something? Well, we wanted to borrow a ship from Uncle Pon Uman. A ship? But there are lots of ships in Toragoth. Why hike all the way to Bum Bum to see me? Oh, um... Well... Tora run out of gold, hmm? Uh... Yes. Tora spend all the gold on artificial blade. Tora flat broke, like penniless pancake. <laughs> I wanted to go on a little boaty jaunt to a uh, nearby place, but no money to go on boat. Hmm. I hope Tora can keep track of all these fibs he's telling. There's no other option. We can hardly tell him what happened in Toragoth, can we? Yeah, I guess you're right. So long as we get a boat out of this. Artificial blade, eh? Was this what Tora's Grampy Pon was working on? My name is Poppy. Pleased to meet Uncle Pon. Yes! This it! This pretty mighty! Tora take off to Grampy Pon indeed! Oh, well, uh, how can I refuse Tora now? Tora may use Uman's ship, but there is problem. W what is problem? You see, a uh, ship not quite ready just yet. Not much left to do, but work stop because no building parts. That's the only problem. Correct! But that is big problem. Big like sea or mountain. You mean, all you need is some parts, then you can finish the ship? It just as you say, friend. So if we go and find the parts, then you'll... Of course! I make ship ready, then you borrow! Thank you! Come on, everyone. Let's go! Let's go find ship ingredients. So now we borrow Uncle Pon's boat. Thanks, Simon. We owe you. Indeed. Enjoy your boaty jaunt. So that's the world tree. Whoa, I've never seen it so close before. Me neither, to tell you the truth. But it's just as awesome as I'd hoped. The current's really strong. Following that, and you're a goner. It's great that we made it this far, but how do we get over there? Any ideas? Pyra? We... Huh? Rex, we need to leave. We can't stay here. What? Why? What are you talking about, Pyra?
That. Thought we were done for. Huh? Is that Uriah's Titan? This is not good. Ah, here it comes. Pyra? Anybody? Uh, I'm here. You hurt? No, I'm fine. <sighs> Looks like we're all okay. Except for the fact that we now find ourselves in the belly of the beast. The beast is this is the inside of the Orion Titan. Meh, meh. Look. Tora think this not nice place. Is that how we're going to end up? Hey, Rex, don't jinx us. Everyone, shouldn't we try to get out of here? If I recall, the Orions live towards the beast's back. There must be a way up there. Yeah. Can't hang around here for sure. Over there. Huh? Poppy sees something over there. Someone coming this way. For real? Maybe you're just seeing things. Poppy is certain. Something is flickering over there. Flickering? You say? Some kind of ghost, maybe? Shut up. There's no such thing. Nia, you're not scared, surely. D don't talk nonsense, Rex. I'm not a kid. You're scared. At last, something Nia's scared of. Just you watch. Hey, where's Pyra? What? Pyra's missing. Uh, but she was right here. Pyra? Pyra! Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, what's the big idea? Don't wander off like that. Nothing, really. I was just taking a look around. What's the matter? <laughs> what's so funny? Oh, nothing. Oh, Titan's fault. Oh. Things are looking brighter already. Poppy can help too. Now even more brighter. You two are certainly earning a keep. Oh, I wish I could say the same for old Dromark here. Apologies, my lady. See? Not so scary when you can actually see. 
Let's find the exit. Yeah! yeah! There's some kind of dim light. If I remember, the Orion Titan has a translucent hide. I bet that'll be the light filtering through. So, the Titan must be above the clouds now. I dare say. If we can make it to the source of the light, maybe we'll find a way out of here. Hold it! Looks like a bunch of mushes I ain't seen yet. You gotta have pretty damn bad luck ending up in a titan's guts like this. Huh? That blade! An emerald core crystal! <laughs> so, the rumors are true. Huh? What rumors? The tale that every driver worth his salt knows. The legendary Aegis. Folks been saying she just woke up from a 500-year nap. Wouldn't have thought she'd show up with a pencil neck shrimp like you for a driver, though. You think I don't have what it takes? No, I mean, maybe you could handle a normal blade. But a greenhorn like you, with a butte like her, don't kid yourself. Come on, boy. Hand her over to a grown-up. This crap is getting old. Leave her alone. You got heart, kid? I like that. You, Zuo, you take care of the others. I want to squash the kid. <laughs> Leave it to us, boss. We'll take real good care of him. What's the matter? Are you the Aegis, or aren't you? Huh? Something feels... different. This man, he's... That all you got, mate? Pathetic. We'll show you. We'll show you what me and Pyra are made of. He dodged. Of course I did, kid. Any slower, you'd bore me to death. How about this, then? <laughs> Rex! Wait! I can't supply power this fast! Nowhere left to run! Eat this! Huh? Playtime's over. Take this. Uh -huh. Ha! If you're a driver, you're a new one for sure. Drivers, see? We borrow our blade's energy, channel it into our weapons, and let rip with an art. But you gotta be careful. There's a limit to it. If you go in all bullheaded like that, kid, even that Aegis of yours is gonna run out of energy before long. What? What? Huh? Huh? 
The name's Van Dam. I run a little firm out of the nearby village. Uh, firm? Come on. I'll treat you to some grub as thanks for letting me take a whack at the legendary Aegis. <laughs> Just then, I realized while we were fighting, I sensed from the very start that he didn't mean us any real harm. Hmm, he sure is a strange old goat, that one. Hell of a story. So you headed to the World Tree to reach Elysium, but got swallowed up whole instead. You got some crazy luck. So, uh, what were you doing back there then? You know this Titan. It ain't too fussy about what it eats. I went down there to see if anything we might need in the village washed up. But mostly I only found your sorry mushes. Yeah, sorry about that. Here we are. Welcome to Garfot. Ain't much but a toad. The village has a lot of children. Lots of drivers and blades here, too. We're in the business of dispatching drivers and blades all across the world. Most of the kids are war orphans. Took them in while on the job. So you're saying that you take them under your wing? Just till they're able to make it by themselves. Some of them might grow up to be drivers, like ourselves. But then others might become tailors. Doesn't matter what they want to do with their lives. We leave it up to them to decide. Aye, us justice busters just want to help. Good eggs, huh? You said it. I've been called worse. Come on. Let's eat. All this egg talk's making me hungry. I'm going to get some water. Van Dam? Cheers, love. Give me a beer. Beer? Coming right up. What's up? The grub don't suit you? So, do you fight in wars too, Van Dam? You got a problem with mercenaries? Are you trying to get us to join up? Ha! <laughs> Shrimps like you? We're not that desperate. Relax. Okay. Good to know. Hmm. Rex. You're a salvager, ain't you? Yeah. You must have fished out your share of military supplies, right? You're fine with that? Nah, I don't want to get involved with it. It's all the same. Compasses, valves for wreather stoves. Armies need all these things. That bread you're eating, it's made from Ruska flour, supplied by the Ardanian government. This world's full of war. Don't matter if you're a soldier or not, as long as you're alive, you're in the war, some way or another. Don't you think? Um, I'm... Life can be cruel. Crueler than you know. 
That's why I set up this little band, so I could protect the people I care about. Rex, you're the driver of the Aegis. The whole world's gonna try and scalp you. You realize that? How are you gonna live when you've got everyone gunning for you? It'd be easy to run. All you need to do is ditch that girl. <sighs> hmm. Come on! Gotta get ready! What? Where are we going? Just follow me, kid! We just got a job to go check out some kind of crazy energy effect. Somewhere up around the blowhole. What do you say? Fancy being a mercenary for a day? Um, okay. But, I mean, we don't work for free. Don't worry, kid. You'll get paid. An ether miasma. Take it, this is your first one. Ether miasma? It's a load of poisonous waste products spewed from the Titan's gut. You know, when you get gassy, kind of like that. Um, is there a way through this thing? I can't see any way around it. Hey, no fear. Rock, mate! You're up! My asthma's died down. <laughs> yep, yeah, nothing to it. Let's roll! An Arden. Just what we need. Rex, any good with that anchor? Yeah, I get by. And that here. Now watch.
You got it after seeing it once. Not bad, kid. Hey. <laughs> Listen up, kid. Drivers use arts. But that doesn't just mean using the powers your blade gives you. There are arts that use your own strength or take advantage of your enemies. There are all sorts. A driver's job is to be smart with his arts and protect his blade. Protect my blade? Yeah. It's a two-way thing, kid. You gotta be aware of the power coming out of her. Don't waste it. Channel it through your arts and protect her. If you can do that, then you're a true driver, kid. A true driver? I don't know. Am I ready? Course you are. That thing from before... Took me five years to learn that. Five years? Yeah, but you saw it once, and then you aced it like it was nothing. And you got Nia and Tora in tow. Those guys are pretty handy. Kid, you got a bright future. I think I'm gonna spew. Biggie Pon has scary face, but he very nice. <laughs> Suss me out, Furry Pon. Like I thought. A titan? So that weird power effect they clocked? Maybe this is the cause? Yeah. Sure looks like it. I'll hazard it wasn't death by old age, either. Might have been an accident. On the other hand, it might have been attacked. Seems like this Titan dying off has stirred up something else. The blade returned to its core. So that monster was in resonance with the blade. Tora cannot resonate. Stinky monster can resonate. Not fair. But Master Pond have Poppy. Oh, Poppy, yeah. <laughs> if a blade loses its driver, it winds up like this. So is it like dead? Nah. The crystals start glowing again after a bit of time. Then a new driver can resonate with it. But... There's a bot? Its memory will be totally zapped. It'll be reborn as a new blade. Won't remember a thing. Yeah? That's pretty rough. To have all your past wiped out like that. But memories can be... painful as well. They can be a terrible burden. And a blade can live forever, as long as the crystal exists. It's just as well. Eternity is a long time to collect bad memories. Pyra. I'm sorry. I was just thinking, sometimes being able to forget is a blessing. Come on, let's get finished up here.
That's... A core crystal! What? Well, that's where they come from. Out of Titans. This one's brand new and ready to resonate. Like a big steak, right before you take that first bite. It'll probably end up buddying up with a bunch of drivers. Every time the driver dies, it'll forget everything and return to its core. Eventually, it'll resonate with a new driver. Drivers dying. Titans dying. The blade just keeps on living through it all. It's a never-ending cycle. An eternal history. As mortals, we'll never be able to understand. It's incredible. Could her old driver still be alive somewhere? Perhaps. <laughs> hey, hold still. I thought you were a tough salvager, Rex. Give me a break. Pain is pain, isn't it? How about you? Are you hurt? Don't worry. It's just a scratch. <laughs> that was on purpose. You were hurting me on purpose, weren't you? Well... I wasn't. Honest. I was just rubbing the lotion in. Rex, you rubbed it too hard. Ah. It hurts. Hi, See? you two. Give me a look at that. What is this? Haven't seen this before. Don't know why a blade would be stuck with a bunch of wounds. And they're exactly the same as Rex's. Incredible. Never heard of such a thing. It's all true. I just thought it was an accessory. Van Damme, that's not my style. Blades are supposed to heal up right away, no matter what the wound. If the crystal's in one piece and the driver's alive, nothing can touch them. So why is she all bashed up? That's just how the chips fell. It is what it is. What it is, is a problem. It means if one of you kicks the bucket, you both do. You told me that a good driver always protects his blade. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna protect her. Easier said than done, kid. Listen, Pyra, she saved my life, brought me back from the dead. So I won't die again. I've got to live, for her sake, until we get to Elysium, at least. We can make it together. Rex, you mean... Going to Elysium? I can't let that stand. It won't do. A bunch of amateurs stealing the show? The script exists for a reason. Akos. Please speak only when you're spoken to, traitor. Traitor, traitor, traitor! Nia, you're one of the baddies now. 
you villain. <laughs> I didn't betray anyone. Then why do you stand with them? You think that is where you belong? But I... I... <laughs> Who are these goons? Torna. They're trying to get their hands on Pyra. Torna? Akos, just tell us what you're here for. Well, the Aegis, of course. I just had to come and see the leading lady with my own eyes. Jin put you up to this. Well deduced. Oh, by the way, his orders were to deal with you in whatever manner I see fit. So, you know what that means. He wouldn't. You're lying! Why the surprise? Did you think he would still care about you? Oh, to live in your reality. Ow! Well, well. Your part in this play is coming to an end. So, time for you to shuffle off the stage. What's wrong? I know the name Torna. They've taken the lives of too many drivers, including some of my crew, good people. Rumor says it's because they're collecting core crystals. So, if this Akos is one of them... You! Zuo! Get everyone out of the village! Yes, sir! You ready? Ready. Got it. Thanks for this. No problem. It'll be tough. His blade, Obrona, she can manipulate the ether in the air. It lets him counter elemental attacks by generating fields of the opposing element. Finally! A decent opponent for a change! Let's go! Such an honor, sharing a stage with the legendary Aegis! Ah! Uh. Huh? Why would the driver... It seems that they're taking each other's damage somehow. Ah. So that means that the Aegis is a mere mortal right now. In that case, a little more damage and she'll be easy to deal with. Pyra! Kids these days, I swear. Can't leave you alone for a minute. Could you use a hand? Leave it to me. I'll take this dog down! Uh. It's time for another tale. <sighs> sure, sure. She's not badly hurt. Dromark 
think she just needs rest. That's good to hear. Maybe. I used too much power again. Hey, Rex. Hmm? Know what the difference is between me and that Akos fella? Well, he's a bad guy trying to get Pyra. And you're... not? <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, kid. What if I told you that we weren't that different? Huh? My crew at the village, we think we're fighting for justice. But a just fight? I'm telling you now, there's no such thing. What people call justice, it's just an excuse to fight. War is war. The more you stand up for yourself, the more people want to fight you. Before you know it, you're in a war. Listen, all I'm saying is, we've got our fight, and he's got his. But what he's doing is... Yeah, it's bad. But war ain't about right and wrong. Power. That's all it is. And power can take many different forms. It depends on the heart of its will. If we don't use our power, just because we're scared of it, we're done for. As for who's right and who's wrong, no one knows for sure. So all we can do is protect what's important. I think I understand. We all got our own war, kid. My... war? Good morning. Pyra, feeling better? Yeah, I slept so much. Good. Glad to hear. Also, Nia's got something to talk to you about. She does? Yeah. Go ahead, Nia. Uh, um, I... Rex, I want you to come help me. Um, come where? To Van Dam. I need to tell him about... My past with Akos and all that lot. Ah, sure. If you'd like me to, I will. Thanks. Nia originally said she was going to go alone. But I said maybe it'd be better if you went along too. Uh, maybe I should explain. Van Tam, he kind of scares me a bit. Ha <laughs> ha, I get it. Oh, it's you guys. What got you out of bed so early? Nia? Thanks for yesterday. You saved our skins. That guy, Akos, I mean. I wanted to tell you about him. You see... Thing is, we used to be... Being a mercenary... You meet all kinds of different folks. Huh? Your country, family, money. People got plenty reasons to fight. Like fighting for a special girl. I see that a lot. Though not every girl has a strange crystal in her chest, eh? Y you mean Pyra? We're, we're just... Nia. You're with these guys right now. That's what matters. But... aren't you... Anyway, Rex, weren't you saying you wanted to get to Elysium? 
Yeah. But we hit a snag. With a monster like that in the way, it's impossible. No guild ship's getting close to it without going down. Well, I've got an old mate in the Orion capital. Got a feeling he might know a way through. Really? Yeah. I gotta go there anyhow, so I could introduce you. Van Damme, thank you. Nah, it's destiny or something. Don't sweat it. Get your stuff together and meet me by the village entrance. Time to head out. You, Zuo, take care of this place, yeah? Nay, no what is? Leave it to us, boss. Boss? You're in a good mood somehow. <laughs> I guess so. Well, take care. <laughs> Looks like all the chat about the Aegis was true. Who are you? That's a heavy burden you have there. Sure you're up to it, pipsqueak? Sea sets, step aside and let the big boys take charge. Come on, yield the merchandise. Huh? What? Van Damme. Do you know this guy? Never seen him in my life. Bah! <gasps> Wait. Are you... <laughs> uh, uh. You really are a bunch of rinky-dink, bogus, stupid, no-mark drivers, aren't you? Behold the mighty Zeke Von Gembu, bringer of chaos! Mostly known as Zeke, and often addressed as the Zekenator! 
Behold my blade, Pandoria! And this is my sword, the Purple Lightning Dream Smasher! If you want a taste, come and get it! We're good. Good? No! W wait! Wait, you barbarians! This guy. I'm tired of him already. Gah. You think you lowlives can lick the three of us? Three of you? I count two. Lost someone. Huh? Oh, get a load of this. Our beloved mascot, Tartars, reveal yourself. Huh? Tartars? 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 Where, where, where are you, boy? Tartars! Oh. Hello, little guy. How are you? What are you doing out here all alone? <laughs> Tartars! Handling a man's turtle. Uh, he could have just grabbed Pyra there. Why did he go for his turtle instead? Oh, what an idiot. Uh, listen, whatever. She'll be mine soon enough. Got a problem with that? Then come at me! And don't hold back! What? Is this guy for real? Good try. Not bad. But, 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 wipe yourselves down and get ready for my super ultra mega move! We're waiting with bated breath for your super duper whatever. You asked for it? Bringer of chaos! Ultimate Lightning Fury Slash! <laughs> um. Whoa! <gasps> <gasps> Whoa. What just happened? They... What an idiot. Don't see that every day. Come on. That's enough nonsense. Indeed. Looks like they've expanded the military program. That's a lot of warships. These ships look different to normal ships. Yeah, we don't muck about with our Titans much. No need for it. Orion's like things pretty natural. I've seen Orion ships before, back in Argentum. It's like the total opposite of how the Ardanians use them. There could be one reason, they're always at each other's throats. 
They'd be like cats and dogs for a long time. Well, from where I stand, the Adenians are worse. All that metal is just bad taste. It's easy to think that way. But you're not considering how the Titans themselves feel. Huh? Don't all those modifications hurt? When Titans live with humans, that's just the way it is. <sighs> I used to have a pipe on my back and a crane stuck where the sun doesn't shine. I never complain, not even when Rex fired up a grill on my shoulders. Hey, you used to like that. Hmm. Well, yes, I did like that. In fact, I miss it. If I did that now, we'd end up with Rose Titan. Indeed. <laughs> What's that? It's a distribution center. The government tries to ration out what little resources they have. In practice, it's just first come, first served. Okay, that's the last one for today. <gasps> come on! I'm a soldier. Been busting my gut for this country. That should be going to me! Not the likes of you! Huh? Don't look at me like that. Respect your elders, you snot-nosed brat! Are you okay? What do you think you're doing? She's just a child. What? Huh? Huh? Who the hell are you? Rex, this isn't our business. Leave it. <sighs> Being an adult isn't just about barking orders. Sometimes, you need to help someone weaker. Uh, shut your face! You don't know what the hell you're talking about! Uh, who are you? Huh? The, the, the color of that crystal? You're... Uh, uh, ah! Not good. You'll be bringing others before long. The rumors about Pyra must have traveled pretty far. Even grunts like him have heard them. Sorry. I guess I... Should have used the cloak. But who spread rumors? From what I hear, it's some fancy pants Nopon merchant. A Nopon merchant? Excuse me, Mr. Van Dam. Huh? Oh, well, if it isn't my owner! You grew a fair bit. How's Grandpa Cole doing? Ah. Not too good, then. Who's this? Huh? Ah, oh, this is Iona. That old friend of mine takes care of her. Hi, Iona. Great to meet you. Come on. Let's beat it before those soldiers show up.
Hmm. Is this some kind of theater? Yeah. It's a theater, all right. The guy we're here for leads the troop here. Ah, actors, eh? And right now, they're in the middle of a show. Well, you want to take a quick peek? The heroic adventures of Adam might be interesting. I've never been to the theater before. Neither has Tora. Let's do it. Nice and quiet, though. Looks like it's pretty packed today. Okay. <laughs> And I saw at that time that the powers of darkness had engulfed almost everything. People and titans alike were drawn into the abyssal vortex. The apocalypse was upon us. The end was nigh. But then, despite the wounds all over his body, the great Adam stood. <laughs> Architect, grant me power! Power to banish the dark. Power to illuminate the world. Lo, loyal servant of the Architect, the Aegis! O oh, Aegis, bless me with your power! Bring light upon the world! Thus they defeated the darkness! But at a terrible price! Three great continents sank beneath the sea of clouds forever. Servant of the Architect, by thy power, the world is saved. For the gift you have granted us, we are eternally grateful. I shall spread thy legend far and wide. May your name live on for eternity. Hey. Kind of awkward, right? What was awkward? I mean, that play. It was about Pyra. Must have been kind of bizarre for her, eh? I don't know. I guess. Maybe you should go and make it right. Make it right? How? Idiot. Oh, figure it out yourself. Huh? What am I supposed to... Uh, uh, so the theater. Wasn't it incredible? They had the cloth moving just like real clouds. How did you think they did that? Huh? Uh, yeah. The clouds are pretty cool. They were so cloudy. Ow! 
What are you saying, Bonehead? There's no need for that. I don't know what to say in a situation like this. Coming in, old fella. Crikey! Still collecting the junk, are ya? Watch it, you bruiser. Don't make fun of a man's hobbies. Some greeting for your old comrade. Comrade? Yeah. I was a freelancer before the firm got going. Believe it or not, me and this old fella tore up a good few battlefields in our day. We sure did. And thanks to that bleeding heart of yours, we almost never got paid. <laughs> Says the guy in the theater troupe. You can't be raking in much dough either. <laughs> well, what can I do for you, friend? Carl. You're old, ain't ya? Old enough to know how you cross over to the world tree. Get to Elysium, I mean. Elysium? But why? Why would you want to go there? That core crystal. You... you're... So the Aegis is back amongst us. Who is your driver? I am. You? <laughs> but you're... so young. How about it, old man? Do you know the way or not? Hmm... I dare say, if you've trekked all the way here to ask me, you've already tried going yourselves. Yeah, but we couldn't make it. No wonder. No one can get to the tree. Well, that thing's guarding the way there. It won't let anyone past. But... A long time ago, there was a man who went up the tree. Met the architect, too. There was? Really? Yeah. I'll wager anything. He's got an idea how to get there again. You should try asking him. Well, who was it? Uh, hmm. Please, tell us. I've got to get to Elysium, no matter the cost. Well, I can tell you, but first, I'd like to have a word with her, if I may. With the Aegis, I mean. With Pyra? Of course. Please, through here. Mr. Cole, right? You wrote that play, didn't you? I hope it didn't stir up any painful memories. No, some of them are... good memories. <laughs> you know, you're not very convincing. I'm sorry, I really am. I just wanted people to know about that time. Show people how we were back in those days. Really get it across to them. Will you be using it again? That power? I don't know yet. I just don't know if this world can take it a second time. I know that. I'd never use it if there was another way. This is what I hope for. But... That man's the only one who knows how to get to where you're going. Do you think you can make it to him? I just wanted to make sure. We can. I mean, it's my destiny. Yeah. That boy who's with you. His name's Rex. He's a good person. With a kind heart. Reminds me of a certain someone. <laughs> okay then. I'll help you out. Thank you, Minoth. Minoth? I'd almost forgotten that name. Now then, where did it get to? <coughs> Grandpa! Old man, you okay? 
I'm fine. <laughs> I'll be fine in a second. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> don't mind me. Now, we better call it a day, old timer. I'm sorry, fella. Yeah, <laughs> okay. But come back again tomorrow, will ya? There's something I want to give you. <laughs> come on, I know a place we can rest. It's just one blast from the past after another today. You probably guessed, but we're not here for a reunion. Just as well. The Aegis is gone already. How disappointing for you, comrade. <laughs> Still an asshole. Despite the years taking their toll... I'll wager all the doctors in this town are quacks, and all the blades are blunt. Abrona and I... We could fix that stagnant ether flow with a minimum of bother. What do you say? You could still have a lot of good years ahead of you. I mean, I won't deny there'd be a certain quid pro quo involved. But old man, just think of the benefits. Come. Can't you lend us your expertise here? Do so, and you could live for a long, long time. You know, friend, I'm not as attached to my life as I used to be. Maybe I've had enough. Your little lost souls will be simply inconsolable. The kids? No, they're strong. This is becoming a farce. A horrendously cliched one at that. Break a leg. Huh. What's that? Hey, don't be shy. You heard everything we said, didn't you? Can you... Can you really help, Grandpa? Why, of course. We can help. That is... If you can help us. Can you do that? For your grandfather? This is... You can't come here. <laughs> Charming. So you're making the rules now, huh? You didn't come here to talk about the old days, did you? <laughs> We've snatched Menoth's little brat. No. <laughs> Meet me at the place of your awakening. You remember it, right? <laughs> oh, and, uh... Come alone. In the loo, I guess. Old man, what happened? 
Iona, she's gone. It must have been them. Who's them? After you went, Malos and some other guy paid me a visit. Malos was here? Who was the other guy? Didn't uh, catch his name, but he had red glasses. That's Akos. But what would you want with Iona? Wait, Nia, where's Pyra? She wasn't there when I woke up. What? No one seen her? Pyra, maybe she realized what was going on with Iona. Well, knowing those two, it's not unthinkable. That girl, trying to save her on her own. Where's she gone? Didn't she leave a note? No, I'd have noticed. I know where. I think it could be Olethro Ruins. Olethro Ruins? It's where Adam led his army of resistance from. 500 years ago. It's the place where the Aegis woke up to. It must be that Malos is trying to lure her down there. I'm sure of it. Cole, tell us how to get there. It's at the top of the Great Stairway. Van Damme. Hey, fella, take care of this old man for us. You, yes. Let's move. If we go now, maybe we can catch up to her. So lame. How long are you going to stay in that form? That's none of your concern. I am who I am. Where's Iona? Akos is the meanest son of a bitch I know. <laughs> son of a bitch! Hmm. I still think we should have sent them... A finger or something. But you know best. You know what we're after, don't you? Jin. Is he on your side too? I exist for his benefit. That's all I'm gonna say. Really? Let's end this. Now. Ah, Rex. I'm okay, but Pyra's fighting alone. She's close, though, really close. Well, well. I see I'm not the only son of a bitch. Still defiant, I see. Just give it up, girl. Think you can do it alone? Handle that power? I won't use that power, and I won't let you use it either! Hmm? You seem to be doing nicely without your driver. <laughs> it's like you don't know who you're dealing with. You can't beat me like that. But maybe huh? I can. Dia! The kid? Rex! Everyone! Van Damme, take Iona. Gotcha. We'll take care of these guys. Well, it's come to this. Huh. Needs must. Abrona, do them in. Thought you'd never ask!
I must admit, I've enjoyed playing my part in this hackneyed tale, but... <laughs> Huh? You're bluffing! No! Rex! What? You see, blades draw their power from atmospheric ether energy. They send their power to the crystal where it manifests. But, what if we were to interrupt the flow? Shit! Don't look good! Damn! The power's draining out of my weapons! It's no good. I can't transfer power, my lady. Master Pun, Poppy feels funny. Why won't you guys leave Pyra alone? Isn't it obvious? We want the power of the Aegis for ourselves. It's Jin's desire to erase all of humankind from the world. What? Did Jim seriously say that? Erase all of humankind? My, my. Surely you knew better than anyone. You know what humans are really like. Huh? Mia! What are you doing? You've seen the capital. You've seen the ships, weapons, soldiers. All poised to invade Moradain. Doesn't it make you want to laugh? Every corner of the world is defiled by such a vermin. But that's nothing new. They haven't changed a bit in 500 years. No wonder Father abandoned them. The only thing that hasn't changed is you. Father didn't want us to wipe out innocent life. Why did he make us then? Get real. That's what we're for. To descend on the world and eliminate these pests. What? Is that power coming from his blade? It's too late. Playtime's over. Let's end it. Akos! Agree! as much fun. Malos, you're the icon of chivalry. When you stop and look ahead Malos. And face up to the blue you're blue. not getting her! Huh? An attack from the outside? Van Damme! Ah, the lunk is back. But that pea shooter won't help you. Even if you hit, it'll barely register. Bloody idiot! Think I don't know that! Are you ready, Rex? Another lesson for ya! Something else you could do with a blade! What? <laughs> what? Bastard! He's channeling the energy from his weapon through his body. Yeah, nothing you could do to stop this ether flow. Nothing at all. Take 
Kick Horror and Scram Kick! I can't... I can't just leave you here. Ah! Rex, don't go dying on me here. You gotta make it. You gotta get away from here now. Live! Live for her! You gotta make it to Elysium! I won't allow it! Give it up! Just go, Rex! Remember to fight your war! What is this? You, you can't rewrite the act now. It's too late. Hey, idiot! Look out! self that I constructed. A different self? No time for that. Oh, okay. Now focus. You need to focus, or I can't transfer my power to you. No, it can't be. My powers are useless? Where is that energy coming from? Wait, up. Um... She's not drawing from the ether, it's something else. Not ether? Mithra. Looking good. Things are heating up. Let's do it. What is this? It's called foresight. I don't... A prediction of what will happen in the immediate future. Read their movements to find an opening, then counter. I get it. Hey, how did he dodge that? Who cares how? Just get them! Piece of cake. There's no way. There's no way to break their link. 
I don't think we're gonna beat them. This is it. The true power of the Aegis takes me back. I've waited so long to see it again. Mithra, welcome back! Don't. <sighs> we gotta retreat. Akos! Abruna! No time for that, Akos! Ha <laughs> ha 